What a moment for Monica Puig it was last year in Rio. Olympic Time. gold medalist. And of course, uh, tonight up against Maria Sharapova. And uh, she has won the career Grand Slam. And arguably, Sam, having watched a bit of uh, Maria play in Stuttgart, looks like she almost, uh, has come back a slightly better player. The serve looked fantastic there. A little unlucky not to actually make it past the semi-finals. Yeah, she came, she came back and she was ready to go from point one as she will here tonight. Uh, one of the toughest mentally out there. It looks as if she'd never been away. This is going to be a great sharpener for her. 15 months out of the game. She needs every competitive match that she can possibly muster. As did that, Monica. Did that she played Puig in, a, in Puig. an exhibition at the end of last year. They know each other well. And she's ready for Puig, who comes out with a huge game. Be ready. Uno no quarter will be given in this particular What's one you? already. You can see uh, Sharapova trying to lash the return back to Puig, who, to be fair, struggled a little bit since uh, oh, yeah. winning. I mean, in Puerto Rico, it's kind of move over J-Lo, move over Ricky Martin. It's all about Monica Puig. That's a lot of pressure for someone in their early 20s. week actually just prodding at the volleys that's all about the rust coming off her game not a lot of rust though because she's still one of the best forget the ranking she's still one of the best players in the game oh, that's where you get her absolute best and that's what Sam was talking about just leathering that return there yeah not a lot of strategy from, from Puy, kind of from the, from the Jack Sock uh, model of playing tennis Great ball striker, has wonderful timing, named after, nicknamed after, or named by her mother, Astrid, after Monica Sellers, the great Monica Sellers. Not what Four many would have expected out here. Sharapova yet to get on the scoreboard. Not an easy serve to return from Puig, puts a lot of slice on it, and she loves the slider out wide in the juice court to set up her first ball forehand. Oh. Yeah, that's the play she's going for right there. One thing's for sure, no matter uh, one, four, one. what Quick. Sharapova's competing at, she is going to give it 100% of everything she has. And, uh, well, there's uh, already perhaps a little look of concern from Puig that Sharapova on the march back. We've seen some great comebacks already tonight at uh, this tiebreak 10s competition. Great control from Sharapova, deep. Puig looking to try and set up Cuatro the dos. point, Four, wasn't allowed to. Puig. First change of ends, of course, they'll change ends after every six points, so three or four changeovers, lightly. And Pedge is very easy to say, I play one point at a time, and that's how I concentrate. Very difficult to do. Very few out there do it. Maria is one of them. Just tuning in, first to 10 points. Tonight, we've already got three semi-finalists on the uh, ladies' side of the draw. Kuznetsova will play Rodvanska. Simona Halep is awaiting the winner of this one. We stopped. Miss Puig is trying to call on the left. This is Landable's call in. So Puig going with the Hawkeye challenge. Just one challenge in this competition. It is being used on the clay. It isn't at the uh, more usual ATP WTA events. But we going with the challenge, Call getting the absolutely right. Cinco dos, five, two. Puig. So she'll still have a challenge. It's a one incorrect challenge. Still got one in her pocket. Oh. 
Sharapova, as ever, threatening this second serve. It was a winner, had she made it. Pui. Good defense off the return from Pui. Yeah, well, she's a two-time French remaining. Open champion, and that shot is a shot that she didn't have when she was a junior or a young player. She has developed it, and it's brought her so much success on clay, but still maybe with the time away, just a fraction out of touch, and this, this competition really rushing her. Yeah. Just wonder, just wonder, Petch, if this kind of format really suits the players who like to play very quickly between points, who, who you know, look for the winner within one or two balls, sometimes three balls. That's the pattern we're seeing tonight. Bobrenka getting ready for his uh, first venture out onto court. He's up against Feliciano Lopez. Yeah, a little more warming up for Vavrinka to do. Don't write Sharapova off just yet. <laughs> Terrific defense this time from the Russian. We all over that three. second serve. Seven, three. Oui. What Sharapova hasn't had a chance to do tonight is push Puig off the baseline because that's what you really want to do. You want to push the Puerto Rican two or three meters back behind that baseline and then that's when she makes some really poor decisions. She tries to hit too big a shot from that area. That's when you get the mistakes. So Maria wants to be right up on her baseline, pushing Monica back. And there's a great example of it right there. That shot, Siete, cuatro, it wasn't on. Seven, four. And she still doesn't understand that in terms of her shot selection. Just take a look how far. This is a good replay. She's too far back, that shot. No, no, no. She was never going to beat Sharapova for pace from there, that's for sure. And the uh, imposing figure and the psychological pressure you feel against Sharapova as well at times, perhaps starting to play its part here. Again, we're going to see Sharapova up. Puig, whose second serve has looked uh, strong so far. Wow. Miss Puig is trying the goal on the left basic line. The ball was calling. There's the challenge again. Is she uh, going to be right for the second time? It's a huge moment in this tiebreaker. Spot on. Call is overturned. Wow, that's a big difference, isn't it, between 8-4 and 7-5. 8-4. And I just wonder, Puig. Petch, the players are not, used, not used to using Hawkeye on the clay. Puig's done really no well tonight. She's used it better than anyone else we've seen out here this evening. So close to a place in the semi-finals. Lit for service. Some Eight players five. have been fairly vocal about Three. her not coming back on tour with shots like that. That was a great serve and a phenomenal return. Yeah, if you don't get that serve wide enough and it is Monica's favourite delivery, that's what's going to happen. Right back at you from Maria. She's still very much in this. But not so much now. 9-5. Doesn't have the howl of luck on the net cord as it bounces back her way and Puig with four match points. Feliciano Lopez versus Stan Babrinka, our next match of the night.
centimetres for Puig from success. You're never quite Nine sure six. what's going to come off her racket. And nor is she. Makes her entertaining to watch, but it means that ranking rather yo-yos up and down and right now. It's on a downward trajectory. Well, she'll swap it for the high that she fell in Rio, that's for sure, the Olympic champion. Still with three match points. She just needed a couple. Monica Puig. Sharapova falls at the first hurdle at tonight's Cybreak 10s competition. The Olympic champion hugs the Russian as she completes the lineup for the women's semis. Maria wasn't easy to play. I, I mean, it's very interesting format, but up to 10 points, it's always tough. Yeah, it's such a, a fast and a different format, I think, to anyone um, that's used to playing. Um, but it's great to get out there, even just for uh, you know the amount of points that we play, to play on center court and to play in front of a crowd again in Madrid um, is always nice. And you have the support from the crowd, so I think it's very nice. Absolutely. Um, I'm so happy to be back in Madrid, and um, hopefully I'll see you in the next weeks. OK, welcome back. Thank you. Well done, Monica. Um, so much attention, obviously, and Maria here today. You look like you're quite energized by that, were you? Yeah, I think I'm sweating a little bit now. <laughs> Mind you, you maybe have the secret to winning in this tournament. Get out there, go quick, full of energy. Is that the key? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's just fun um, to play some out here on center court in front of this great crowd. Uh, Gracias, Madrid. It's so much fun.